Hello, my name is Lily Beltran, and I am currently a master's student at Columbia University, where I am pursuing my data science degree. And so today we will be discussing a very integral part of pre-processing known as feature selection. We will first start off by giving a brief overview of feature selection, and then we will be discussing selection approaches as well as principal component analysis. In this lecture, we use the US Census demographic data, which is located on Kaggle.com. Given a data analysis task, we must select those features that are relevant to the task in order to reduce the complexity of the learned model. This will help improve the interpretability of the model as well as reduce the training time. Many machine learning models assume the independency between input features. Selecting features will also remove those that are redundant. The curse of dimensionality refers to the situation where the performance of a machine learning model significantly drops when the number of dimension increases. With a high number of features, computation on those features will be more expensive and data objects become more sparse in a higher dimensional space. This example shows how the same group of data records are visualized in different dimensional spaces. They become more sparse when the dimension is higher. Performance of data analysis increases initially when more features are included as that allows more information to be used. At a certain point, the performance significantly drops due to the curse of dimensionality. To address this, we use feature selection to reduce the number of selected attributes. Now we will discuss feature selection approaches. Feature selection is associated with a targeted analysis task. Given a targeted variable, feature selection aims to only select those relevant ones. We can also use principal component analysis, also known as PCA, to reduce data dimensionality. It retransfers the original features to new ones in a lower dimensional space. When removing irrelevant features, we should remove those features that have low variance or unique values. We remove features with low variance since they suggest less predictive power. We use data frame that describe method to check the variance of each attribute. We use correlation analysis to check the relevance between a pair of attributes. So zero would represent no correlation, a value of one will represent a strong positive correlation, and a value of negative one will represent a strong negative correlation. Heat maps allow us to quickly identify the high and low correlation of features. Here, the lighter the color is, the higher the correlation. The dropping of features should be made carefully to not lose important information. Many machine learning models assume independency among input features. If two features are highly correlated, one of them should be dropped. A popular way to select the top K relevant features is to use scikit feature selection thought select K best. When selecting the top K relevant features, the null hypothesis is that a feature is irrelevant to the targeted variable. F statistics measure if a feature is relevant or not. The higher the score is, the higher the predictive power a feature has. We are looking for those features that have high F values. The p-value measures the probability of the null hypothesis being true. We are looking for the features that have low p-values since they imply higher predictive capabilities. 
ANOVA F value is suitable for a prediction task, where the continuous features are used to predict a categorical variable. F regression is suitable for a prediction task where the continuous features are used to predict a continuous variable. Chi-squared calculates the correlation analysis for categorical data where we proceed to select features with the highest values. Here we highlight a general feature selection method that works for continuous and discrete variables. Mutual info regression method is suitable for a prediction task where the non-negative continuous features are used to predict a non-negative continuous variable. Whereas mutual information classif is a function that is suitable for a prediction task where the non-negative continuous features are used to predict a non-negative discrete value. Here we have a summary of the methods used for feature selection, depending on the data types. We can also use a machine learning library, such as scikit-learn, to perform feature selection of our data set. Principal component analysis, also known as PCA, transforms a set of the original features to another set with the specified size. Each derived feature is a linear combination of the original features. The purpose is to reduce the dimensionality and complexity of the model. The transformation is not guided by a targeted variable. It is an optimized process where the information loss should be minimized. In summary, PCA generates new features that are independent from each other, which serves a machine learning algorithm well. The first derived feature captures the most variance from the data, the second one captures the second most, and so on. It can effectively reduce dimensionality, but the new features are not interpretable. That concludes our presentation today. Thank you for learning about feature selection with me.